Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I have an unboxing, and I guess an overview of this Belkin Surge Protector. I've been looking like for something like this for a while. Uh, pretty much any one I can find. Most of the standard power strips are 6 outlet. This is 12. The most I can find in stores, like Walmart, is like 8. Every now and then I can find a 10, but they're asking like $40 for a 10 outlet. When you can buy this on Amazon for usually around $20. It is a surge protector. And you get the 8 foot cord. And then this, this jewels, which I don't understand how those work. I usually just go buy amps. And then there's some other things like cable management. Phone line, uh, I guess your coaxial cable. I'm just basically going to use it for the outlets. And especially the spacing. That'll be really helpful for things that use like a brick. I really can't fit this whole box on camera, but let's give you. A... It says it's an inch thin. I believe this has been out for quite a while. They actually have a newer model when you go on Amazon. But the design of it didn't look near as nice. I don't even see it for sale on there. At least not listed as on there anymore. So I guess this is your warranty. Maybe just a little bit how the input and output works for your data connections. Wall. Um, And you would really hope something like this doesn't fail because if it does, you know, a warranty for this isn't going to be your top concern. It would be, whoa, look at these. These are completely bent. That's not good. As you can see, there's definitely some bend on those. I think I saw that in, the, in other reviews on Amazon that these were like, some of them were split wide open and... I mean, you can definitely see these aren't even, but I don't plan on using them, so I'm not too concerned, but that isn't good for fit and finish. You do get these lockouts, so you can close whichever ones you aren't using, which is nice. And they do give you plenty, not so much with these ones, but they do give you plenty of space for these. And this is, in fact... A nice sturdy cord so you shouldn't have to work now a lot of people would probably say you know you shouldn't be plugging in 12 things and to, to a degree that's true but i have usually about six things plugged in which is what mine holds with every now and then you need to plug in a phone to charge or something and it all comes down to your amperage if you know what you're drawing amps wise most houses are probably on a 15 or maybe a 20 amp breaker so you can be plugging in like vcr tv a game system fan that's not going to draw anything it's like your air conditioner, and even that shouldn't be maxing it out depending on the BTU. Now, if you're going to use a hair dryer and a vacuum with an air, then you're getting, you know, running a risk. But the easiest thing to do is just touch the wire and see if there's any warmth in it. And again, just trying to have an idea what you're drawing. If it's smaller things, you really shouldn't have a problem. And I really wouldn't be using all 12, so I'm not worried personally, as long as there's no defects in this item itself. I'll check these lights and everything. And you do get this cable management, which I doubt that I will use, but it's there if you... It does look like it might pop out if you don't want it. Which would be nice if it does come off, but I don't want to break it right now, so... I'll probably just be laying it on the floor, but it does look like you have some hooks if you wanted to put mount it on a wall or the side of something. Which is a nice feature. I might just use double sided tape if I even have enough space to lay it completely flat. And I just wanted to point out they actually have a sticker over this for your, I think that's for DSL, which probably most people don't even use that now. It might work for this phone too. And this also just slides out, so that's pretty easy. But I don't plan on ever using this because my uh, hookups are in the kitchen. I'm not going to run a wire into my bedroom just to use it. That doesn't make sense. So it's there if you would need it, but I definitely do not need that. And then I also noticed up at the top here it does have an on off switch. I believe it's just off and uh, reset. And I would think you could determine what's going on just by whether these are lit up or not. 
And again, the fit and finish isn't the best. I did, to me, this is like the best one you can get as far as having all of this accessible. But again, the build quality is not that great. Like some of these are really loose and they'll slide. And then other ones are like barely to where you can even move them. But as long as it does the job and it's safe, that's really all I care about. But it just, it doesn't have the greatest build quality ever. And here's the power strip all set up. Pretty much have it the way I want it. Really know where else I can put it. I want it out in the open so I can, sometimes my laptop, you know, I'm not using it, I just unplug it. So I like to have easy access. I did fill up a lot of these, but again, most of this doesn't draw anything. Computer monitor speakers draw nothing. Lamp that's really ever used, fan, VCR, and then gaming systems use a little bit more, but they're not always on. So again, long, they, I think these are rated at 15 amps. And that's usually what most circuit breakers are. So as long as you're not running a lot of things through it, and you know what your amperage is, and most things shouldn't come near that, you should be fine. So I do have these open ones. And I've seen people that have the big blocks. Yeah, maybe there would be some trouble, especially if because you, you couldn't run them in here. But on this outside, if you put one there, you might have trouble getting into these ones. But you do have, it's kind of just the way you got to, I guess, kind of shoehorn stuff in there. But for me, it's not a problem. So if I want to charge a phone real quick, I have plenty of room or want to hook something up. I just like the extra accessibility now instead of filling up a eight plug or something. Now I have a few more if I would need them. And you can see it is protected. And I've had no issues so far. Never going to use the coaxial or the DSL. Not really going to use the cable management. Mine's not the best, but that's definitely going to be good for me. And it was a little bit slippery, so I put some foam feet on the bottom just so it would kind of get a little traction, but I can still move it if I want to bring it, you know, anywhere else. See the little gray feet I put on it there. So it, it's been working fine for me. As long as it doesn't burn the house down, I would say it's a very good product. And hopefully if you're looking for something like this, I think it is worth the money. So thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.